everybody welcome to another painting video today I'm going to teach you guys how to do a fast funky mid-century type of piece with uh, resist method and spray paint remember we're a mask people tape is one of my favorite things to use during an abstract I uh, gotta have plenty of rags and buckets and all that stuff get around and also get you a nice mask wear that I'm not gonna put it on like super properly but I'm gonna go ahead and use it so Anyways, here we go guys. I'm going to use a syringe. This is a nice turkey baster syringe or automotive syringe. I filled this up with some Ajax. It's my special thing I like to use is lemon Ajax. It's real thick. And I'm going to do a resist all right on this piece. Here we go. Come on baby. It's nice and funky. That's right. If you've never done a resist painting, try this. It's so fun. I do a lot of these. I sell a lot of these. I started doing these back in the 90s. I was one of the first artists to do resist paintings back in the 90s, but I used to do it on cars and on bicycles and stuff that I refixed. And I probably stole a few back in the day. <laughs> Anyways, let's get this out, out pretty good here. I want a nice little tight design, especially right in between these little bars here. Make sure you get them all nice and easy. Nice and even, kind of like a Jackson Paula kind of deal. Get those edges, don't leave anything out. All right. Okay, now that's gonna flatten out a little, so just kind of give it a little uh, tap a little bit. Give it a tap, kind of let it flatten out. Let that stuff, let that soap flatten out a little bit. Kind of look for empty spots too, like right here on the edge. It gives you a chance to look it over and see if you missed a spot or two. Okay, there you go. All right. Now what you're gonna do is get you some spray paint. Make sure you shake it up real good. I did this, I shook it up ahead of time. I put the tape on ahead of time also. Wear a mask. Oh, I burn. Okay, here we go. Nice and even. Nice and even. Make sure you get it liberally all over the place. Woo! Wear a mask. All right, looking pretty good. Kind of let it dry and set up a little bit too before all that stuff. Whew. I was looking for my other can of spray. I do not see it in here. But I'll go get it in a minute. So I think I'm going to add a little bit of a webbing to this as well. So if I can go fetch it here. I'll run into the room and see if I find it. I wasn't ready for that. But I've been aching to get a video on guys. I've just been so busy painting paintings. That I don't have time to really be showing a bunch of videos on YouTube. But I'm gonna get some out so you can see what I'm doing.
And this will make a beautiful black and white mid-century style painting. And I'm probably gonna edge finish it anyway. I just wanna make sure there's no feathery edges. And believe me, you wanna wear a mask. Ooh. Ooh. Get over here on this side over here. Whew. Damn. Okay, there you have it. I'm gonna let it sit up there for a second. Let me run and see if I can find that webbing. Hang on there, watch the painting dry. I have my paints in the other room, so. Woo! Okay. There's still paint suspended in the air, but. Now I'm going to go to the next stage here. This is going to be the cool part, so watch this, guys. And you don't want to put too much... Make this warm water. Okay? Let's get this over here. Oh, boy. Okay, here we go. Wet this canvas. Look at that, guys. Real slick, it's got a bunch of soap on it, so. Ugh. Man, that's gagging me. Tell me who. We gotta do this kind of quick. Paper towel, and wipe that stuff off a little bit more. You gotta soak up all that soap, all that residue. Look at that, see that? The rag, soak it down again. Let's get all that soap off there. I normally rinse this under a, a, a shower head, but I'm trying to do this in the garage here because I got so many paints drying everywhere. So we're gonna do this as much as we can here. Just trying to get as much of that soap off as you can. You can see it's already thinning down. It's a beautiful way to do a black and white piece. You get another rag, you wanna make sure that the rag is clean. Not too much soap. Like I said, usually I rinse this under water. You want to get that residue off as much as you can. Okay, and then paper towels. This is the process of getting that soap off. It soaks up into the paper towels. It's a real magical technique. Look how bright and contrasty that is. It's really contrast. Wish the light was better in here, but it's not that great of lighting in here. The whole idea is to get this as dry as possible before you do the next state. You don't have to worry about soap because that'll just dry into the acrylic in the bottom. You want to get as much off as you can. Okay, I think that's pretty good. 
And now the next step is this, mobilization. See if you can get. Shake the can good. All those nice positive areas are gonna drizzle. They used to use this back in the 70s. That's why I call it mid-century style. You can see it on some lamps and some older stuff still to this day. And you got to be patient, let this stuff dry. Don't get crazy with it. And then all over, lightly. You don't kill up your contrast, just. And there you guys have it. Mid century piece, black and white, beautiful piece, guys. Check it out. And I sell these between 200 and 250 bucks, so. If you like it, go to my website, visit me at eBay. Peace out, babies. I'm glad I got to do this painting for you guys tonight. Thank you.